That's it. Scout, scout. Good. So, good boy. I'm gonna take Scout on his first pack walk off leash. Um, I'm gonna let all these dogs out here and it's gonna get pretty hectic for a little while. I'm gonna be a little harder on him than I am on the other dog. He has a history of attacking other dogs and these other dogs of mine don't, so. All right. All right, deal. Good boy. All right, Essie. He's pretty. All right, Ginger. All right, Clark. No? He did good there. He's pretty roused with his tail straight up there. But he's doing really good. Especially all them dogs that are blowing out right in his face. I'm like son, I'm like father. You don't have to come stand by me when I stop walking. Go we'll play. He's doing wonderful. His tail's down, he's relaxed. His tail's loose and floppy. He's trotting around doing his thing, completely ignoring other dogs, which is perfect. He doesn't need to pay attention to them. <sighs> Maybe I'll see if I can get a recall or two in. He recalls fine, but I'm introducing the collar to him, so that when he is in a situation where he doesn't want to recall, he has an obligation to. So I have it on I'm running on six, but he's yeah, we'll try it on six. He's kind of ignoring it right now, so I don't know. I'll press it. Scout, scout. Good. So Good boy. And then he's a little bit paranoid, so then he looks and he thinks it's gonna happen again. So you do it like once every five minutes or so. Good boy. Six, you can barely feel it. I can't feel it at six. Anyway, what that does is, what doing this does is it teaches him how to turn it off. It's not just a collar that's gonna randomly shock him all the time. But see, he's kind of paranoid, then he starts hallucinating that he's feeling it again. Um, so if we do just a really light stimulation, and then we give him his recall. As soon as he turns toward us, we turn it off because that's the, and that teaches him how to how to turn it off. And that he has a choice to turn it off. So how this will work is, we're out hiking and stuff, and he sees a dog he wants to get. Um, well, it depends on the situation. I might recall him if he recalls, but if he's not going to recall, then. I'll use the e-collar because it's not pleasant so he's gonna look for a way out and he knows the way out is to come back to me so that's what we're gonna do that's why we're using it I don't want you you big baby go play go chase a bone go find a bone my mommy No deal. What are you doing, you weirdo? Now he's way out there. I don't know where he notices I stopped walking. I don't know why he notices and why he cares. But he does. Go chase yourself. Go catch your tail or something. Shoo. Personal space. You know, you could go a little further than that. See everyone else?
you're silly. There's nothing real splendid going on, no splendid sunsets or anything, but I don't know, those clouds are just pretty. Do you think it's pretty too? Good dogs. You're not supposed to cross fences, you naughties. No crossing fences. We're up by the road now. And there's a car coming. I have confidence I can stop him. Especially if I need to use this. But I don't have confidence he's not going to go after it, so I am going to have this for backup. And we're like, right next to the road. Uh-uh. See, I'm focusing a little bit. I'm not gonna let him lay down. Cause he can stare laying down too good. So I'll just start walking if I need to. Good boy. Good boy. Now preferably he'd just ignore them like the rest of the dogs do. Come on, scout. Just completely ignore them, but he's got a long ways to go before that. That is huge progress right there. And as you can see, he doesn't give up on it right away either, but. Good dogs. Yes, I'm good dogs. Clarky Sparky. Clarky Sparky. Do you want to massage you behind your ears? Because you came too, good boy. Hi, pretty. Do you like being called pretty? You're so pretty.